What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Red Dawn channel and in today's video we're going to kick off the 2019 content with a guide. A very important guide because when the Warlord does not work for me, this character that you see on the screen right now is my go-to slap them up, make them rage, make them cry character. I love the Centurion. He is an absolute beast, and in today's video we're going to revise my previous guide and actually add some serious, serious potential to your guys' kits and your abilities to play, punch, and kick your way through any of the fights. So of course, ladies and gentlemen, join me in kicking off 2019 with a guide for none other than foreigners punch him up, the fucking Centurion. Of course... As we always do, let's kick off this video with the moveset. Now, of course, this area of the guide is aimed towards the guys who haven't played much of For Honor, so if you have done, there'll be a timestamp in, in the description to all the relative parts of the guide. So, for those people that do want to learn about the combos, the tactics, the 1v1s, and all that type of stuff, please do go to the description. But, for the guys that are, who are brand spanking new to Centurion, I do urge you sit with me through this tedious process. And we can go through the moves that the Centurion has in detail, which is something I'll be doing with the moveset now instead of me just reading out like a pleb and actually sounding and looking like a pleb. So, the Centurion has a charged heavy, so all that means is that you hold in your heavy button and you release it and he lunges at your opponent like, hiya, fuck you. You've got Lion's Claws, which is a basic three light attack chain. I wouldn't really use this because of the fact that it's predictable, it's in his lights, in essence, if put into a chain, are easy to parry, especially in your high tier levels of gameplay. Then you've got a light into heavy. This is one I use quite often to keep people at bay and just keep the harassment damage up there, which I'll be going over in the guide later. Then you've got light, light, heavy. I've never used this. I don't intend to use this, but for the purposes of today's guide, I'll explain why it is a very shitty move to use because all these guides are aimed at high tier gameplay it's obviously you'll have your basics for your starters your intermediate and advanced and then your master class at the very end then we've got lion's bite which is heavy heavy that second heavy can be delayed to you know be a dick to your opponent so that's a really good one then you've got eagle's fury which is basically just his you know sprint move so that's cool then you've got eagle's fury alternate this one has hyper armor as does the one that's not locked onto your opponent, so that's Gucci, happy days, that means you can trade blows with your opponent. Then you've got his kick, which is simple, you get a guaranteed light off of this, or you get the first initial attack off his zone attack once you land the kick. So if they've got one bar of health left and you've kicked them, you want to let lash out the zone attack, which is something we'll be going over. Then you've got Legion's kick combo, so that's just letting you know that you do get a free light off of it. Then you've got his jab after a heavy, which is easy to dodge, but if done in a chain properly and you don't throw it out every single heavy that you land, then, you know, it's actually a viable move to use. Then you've got his charge jab, which will be going over in the guide, but it basically means that if you charge it and it connects, you knock them on their ass, and then you just jump on them like, hey, how was your day yesterday? Have a wee conversation, back off, and the fight resumes. Jab combo, which again, if you land the jab, you get a free light attack. Quick throw which is pretty decent, not gonna lie. Then you've got Lion's Roar, which is you GB them and you punch them for days, which drains their stamina quite a bit. Parry counter, so the Centurion has a really strong parry, so basically you do stam damage and a heavy attack afterwards. So it is really useful to do so, and it wall splats, so that you guys can, you know, make your opponent cry, which is really good. So, you've got Knockback Kick, which is his kick that we've gone over. Then you've got Imperial Might. So he does have an unblockable heavy attack that he does that you can actually use to deal damage. But you, it's, it's not feintable, so you've got to be careful as to when and how you throw that. Lion's Pounce, which is when you've knocked them on the ground and you press a heavy attack button. You pounce on them, have a wee chat and back off. Then you've got Eagle's Talons, which is a really good one to do. Charged Heavy Cancel, so you can actually charge the heavy. 
into a GB so that the heavy charge can be soft fainted into a GB which you see a lot of Centurions utilizing in their 1v1s and especially in the 4v4s because of the fact that it you know if they're in a gank and they're seeing an indicator and then all of a sudden they get GB'd they're not really going to be noticing it and if they react to it then my days they are godly godly then obviously you've got revenge mode and renown which is on every other character but without further ado is now we've gone in detail on this move set Let's kick it off. Let's get into the fight tactics. The basics. To the basics, ladies and gentlemen. To the fucking... So, helping us out today is our least favourite fucking character in the game, Nooks here. But, as we always do in these guys, ladies and gents, let's kick it off with the motherfucking basics. So, <clears throat> as stated in the moveset, the Centurion has various chains that you can go into. So, of course, he has a three-light chain. The two lights after the first initial will deal 12 damage, no matter which way you start it. So, for example, if you leave it at one light on the right, it's 15 damage. One light on the top, that's still 15 damage. And one light on the left, that is still 15 damage. So, of course, no matter where you throw these lights, the first will deal 15 and the second two will deal 12. Now, the decent thing about the heavies is no matter what, if you land two consecutive heavies, that's 50 damage, because each heavy will do 25. The charged heavy, that will still deal 25. So, the decent thing about the heavies is that if you heavy and hold heavy, you will deal a 30 damage unblockable heavy. But as you can see on the screen, that heavy is relatively slow, so please do be careful when you're throwing out this, because an experienced player will think, damn, this guy retarded. And he will parry that shit. So, best thing to do is heavy, faint, heavy, GB, heavy, GB, heavy. Okay, so you get the point. There's going to be a lot of fainting in Centurion's kit that you will need to utilize. But that will be in the next couple sections because we'll be going over combos and tactics. But of course, this is the basics. So, if you dodge forward and you press X, you will initiate the Centurion's kick. And that basically grants you one of two moves. That grants you a free light attack, as shown on screen now. And it also grants you a free zone attack, like so. But do keep in mind that the first strike is guaranteed up of the kick. Because Centurion Zone cannot be hard fainted and you have to commit to it, that last attack will be parried and you will be punished. So make sure that your opponent's health bar is on that last health bar, so that when you do kick and initiate the zone, it will kill them. But, lastly for the basics, you have various options from a guard break. So a guard break will actually allow you a guaranteed 25 damage heavy in either of the directions, whether that's left, right or top, you will get it. On a wall splat, what you want to do is hold the, the button, hold the X button and initiate that combo. It locks them into it and they cannot get out of it. That entire combo is guaranteed. So again, you want to GB, push them into a wall, hold your heavy button, hold your X button or the, the button, you know, your GB button that variates on your either of your consoles. That would be square on PS4 and fuck knows what it would be on PC. But, you get the idea, this combo is massive and it will take off quite a bit of their health bar, so it means that you can play comfortably and be an absolute pain in the backside. The last thing I'm going to cover in the basics is his light, light into heavy, so that would be a 15, 12 and 25 no matter what. And the last thing as well is the actual punches from the... GB stance. This drains quite a bit of stamina and you can of course follow it up with a kick if you, you know, direct them towards it. So let's get Nooks a bitch into the center. So GB, light, 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 follow that up with a heavy. So if they are low on low on stamina, what you can do is GB, uh, GB, light, light, push into kick. That kick is practically undodgeable. I mean, you'd have to have the reactions of Jesus to dodge that. So do keep that in mind. But that pretty much covers it for the basics. So, you know, happy days, happy dandy. Of course, revisit this section of the guide if you so need. But that is exactly where we're going to leave the basics. Next, we're going to head on to the combos. After that, it'll be tactics. And then we'll jump into a 1v1 before starting the masterclass guide with the parries. But I'll see you guys in your combo section. So I forgot to add these two things to the basics, so I'll do so now. So if you dodge forward into a heavy attack, you will initiate a, you know, a Superman dive, which grants hyper armor. So that move is fantastic 
for trading or even entering a fight. For example, you can do it like so. Keep in mind an experienced player will parry this. So make sure that when you get into the gist of it that you're diving into people's attacks to land that. Because it can be followed up with various moves for example like so there is a slight delay it can't be a direct follow-up because it's a chain it, it ends a chain you can't it's not a chain starter so do keep that in mind for example you can follow it up with a punch and a light attack but again the punch is easily dodgeable a light attack can be followed up with a gb if it lands of course you can get a free heavy attack like so oh, jesus wow so light Boom, easy peasy, happy days. If you press a heavy button, you'll notice that it automatically put, you know, pushes them away from you. So the best thing to do is simply follow up with one of these. Light attack. Or even a kick, for example. A kick is a fantastic way to get rid of your opponent. Let's get her away from the wall. So, boom, 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 and boom. It drains quite a bit of stamina. But I don't like to use it because I don't really follow up, follow it up with anything other than a kick. I'm at, you know, I'm, it's more beneficial to actually fought, start it up with a kick. But as of course, to the combos. So to let you guys know, of course you'll notice that I'm revisiting some of the guides of last year. The reason being is that I feel like some of them could use some extra work. So if you are expecting one of my previous guides to have a rework and you'd like me to revise it, then simply feel free to pop your interest down in the comments below of this video. And of course, I will get to letting this video be done over with and then read the comments and then highlight which guide you want to do well you would like me to revisit of course we all know that the warlord how to counter guide is receiving a massive massive overhaul as of this next coming week so please do be patient with me on that front because i am waiting for the changes to warlord to come before actually focusing on that guide but of course, for now, ladies and gentlemen, please sit back, enjoy the guide, and of course, leave your interest as to which guide you'd like to see rework next after viewing this video. Pop it in the comment section down below, and also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and show your support to the Red Dawn channel by being an absolute beast and joining the Wolves as of today. But of course, let's get into the combo section of this guy. Fuck the Wolves. So, what some of you veterans have now been waiting for, oh Jesus Christ, the combo section. So, as we all know, Centurion doesn't really have a massive kit to utilize. It's very predictable and very easy to react to. So, what you need to do is force your opponent into reactions. And that is what most of these combos that I have come up with are based off of. Of course, I've learned these from other base Centurions and some more, you know, tactically advanced centurion so of course the very first one is coming from the kick so of course the kick is then light attack of course you all if you always want to land a successful kick with a light attack unless they are on their final bar of health so you'd go into a kick light heavy heavy faint gb and then you would back off regain some stamina and of course keep moving forward it'd be helpful if i fucking put my stamina on there we go there we go. So that combo does this amount of stamina drain. It's very, very decent and it leaves you with half stamina to then back off, regenerate and keep the fight going. Next one is because of the fact that Centurion does have rapid, rapid heavies compared to everybody else in the game, you want to utilize this. So you could come in with a cheeky heavy and back off again. Also, what you could do is heavy, heavy, GB. Faint, double heavy. I mean, even hell, what you could do is faint, faint and actually follow through with it it'll catch some people off sometimes it'll be parried but i would not worry too much about that you want to kind of keep your opponent at bay as much as possible also what you can do if they're th chucking out left right and center being a light spammy little bastard all you need to do is back off do that and keep the ground keep them at bay when you're moving in at all times because you want to come in and keep them in your area of control he doesn't have range and it's very very dangerous to keep your distance with centurion because they're you're putting yourself in their ballpark centurion is well known for fucking parrying and getting his damage off of so so if you do land a parry which we'll go over later that is a massive 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 thing to keep you in the game so of course what you can do is land a heavy follow it up with a jab like so and it gives you a light attack if it lands but of course that jab is very easy 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 
and easy again to react to. So you don't want to be throwing that out like F after every heavy to get that fucking jab damage because of the fact that people will react to it. They'll end up getting the GB as you'll see later in the 1v1 gameplay. But it's very simple. I mean, all you need to do realistically is land a heavy, charge, faint, heavy again. It catches a lot of people out because they do expect you to actually follow through with that heavy. So do keep that in mind. And a lot of the other stuff just comes from the fact that you're getting your guaranteed damage back enough. And again, utilizing the fact that you have walls around you to get your unchargeable, knock them on the ground, jump on them, and then back the fuck away because of the fact that it does take a lot out of the centurion stamina bar so it is very beneficial that you keep your distance and you gain your stamina coming in for your cheeky blows and back it off again so of course if you follow up with a zone attack you have to commit you can't do anything afterwards so only do that when they are on a single bar of health another thing is if you do land the punch from the kick it's very, 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 well, not the kick. You land the punch from the heavy. It's very beneficial that you do light, heavy, rinse and repeat, light, top light, again, faint, double faint, into a wall, and then you rinse and repeat your previous damage. The Centurion is known if you get if you get your opponent on lockdown that you can keep them in lockdown for a very long amount of time, so it is very beneficial that you do so, utilizing the heavy feints, but do not spam them because of the fact that people will in fact get the idea of what you're doing. You want to faint into different attacks, so for example, I'm going to faint here, light in the same direction, faint again into GB into a wall, which is very, very decent, beneficial to keep your opponent at bay. But of course, the combos can only be gone through in slight detail here. You'll see a lot of the combos come through in the gameplay, so they will be highlighted while I'm going through it. So I will commentate over the gameplay for once so you guys can see what I'm thinking and, you know, it might be beneficial for you. But so far, that's what I'm going to leave the combos on. They're very basic, admittedly. But, of course, like I said, we'll go over the combos in a lot more detail in the gameplay at the end. So, if you are looking for combos specifically, watch this section. And then, of course, go to the gameplay at the end of the video. But... That covers combos, we'll go into tactics at the same time. A lot of the tactics basically rely on you landing your parries and keeping your distance and utilising the Centurion's kick as much as possible. So if they do in fact dodge your kick, they can get a free GB off of that. So the best thing to do is follow up the kick if they dodge with a heavy attack. It's not very seen by a lot of Centurions and they just let the GB go through. So if you dodge forward, they dodge and you land the heavy attack, you get 25 damage on them. And of course that heavy attack can be instead then carried by another feint into another heavy. So that is very decent indeed. You want to turtle down when you need to, as of course with all characters, and you need to make sure you keep your stamina at all times, and make sure your opponent loses theirs as quickly as possible, because the Centurion has the strongest out of stamina game I have ever fucking seen in For Honor outside of the Conqueror and the Warlord. So, obviously we'll be going over that in the Masterclass, because it's uh, saucy information. But, the tactics are very simple with the Centurion. Be cheeky, land specific damage punches that will guarantee you damage because the lights and such are guaranteed and you want to get them into GB chains. So if you are to land a GB, drain their stamina, push them forward into a wall, boom, boom, and then keep that stamina down as much as possible because sometimes it's more beneficial to land a out of stamina kick while they're on the ground than it is to land a pounce because, as you'll see later on in the guide, there's a lot of things you can do when they're out of stamina, but for tactics, ladies and gentlemen, again, that will be correlated into the gameplay at the end of the video, so that will be in the timestamp in the description down below. But, Masterclass time. I'll see you in that part of the guide, because we will kick it off with the parries. So, of course, it's time to go over some of the sense parries. So, for example, if you do, in fact, parry an attack, you follow it up with a GB and a heavy attack, both of which are guaranteed, so that is decent. So, of course, again, for that input, all you need to do is parry, press your X button or your GB button, and follow it up with a heavy attack. It does deal quite a bit of stamina damage, and, of course, you can follow that heavy up with a punch. Most of the time, that punch is, in fact, dodged, so I wouldn't bother going for it. All I would say is wait a, a few seconds, then dodge forward, kick them into a light attack. 
Another thing to take note of it, the fact that you want to be parrying near a wall because of the fact that when you press the GB button and you do in fact kick them, it actually wall splats. If I'm going to not be incompetent, boom. And then you want to charge up the heavy, charge up your GB button and smack them with a dive to the chest. So that is absolutely cracking and of course which is really decent about the Centurion, the fact that it war splats and it deals a shitload of damage and stam damage, which is decent. Happy, happy, happy days. So, of course, there is one more thing that you can do, which is just simply follow up with a heavy or a light attack. Again, the heavy is guaranteed, as is the light attack. So do keep those in mind. I'd forget about the light attack because it deals 15. You get an extra 10 from simply just pressing the heavy button. And, of course, you get some stam damage when you do the simple GB into heavy, which is really, really, really nice. But the Centurion has one of the nastiest nastiest max punishes I have ever, ever fucking seen on this game to date. So all example, all you need to do is GB them, throw them behind you, back light into a charged heavy, into a punch, into an eagle dive, dealing a lot of fucking damage. You deal 40 stam damage, you deal 30 on the chain, you deal another 35 on the top damage heavy, so that is 65 damage in total, mixed with that 40 beautiful, beautiful stam damage, which is really nice, keeping them out of the game even fucking longer. So boom, again, you jump on them, you back off, you regain your stamina, and you just kick them repeatedly until they cry like little bitches, or in fact they die. You just rinse and repeat this bullshit over and over and over again and you just obliterate your target. I have won a game simply by getting them out of stamina and rinsing and repeating this mind fuckery over and over again. But why? Because I'm a dick. Admittedly, that's that's just the gospel truth. So, of course, those are your parry punishes. I do le like to leave some of these parries in the masterclass section because of the fact that the Centurion is a parry happy devil. A lot of your damage will come from parries and your dirty mix-ups as well as this nasty, nasty fucking out of stam punish. This is Sense Max Punish, it is absolutely disgusting and it takes off a considerable amount of their health, so do keep that in mind. But ladies and gentlemen, that will be this, that will be that, and let's end this guide in true Red Dawn fashion by taking this little son of a bitch online, finding a random victim and abusing abusing that random victim with what we have learned in today's video that of course will be commentated but ladies and gentlemen if you have enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful in becoming the masterclass centurion that you hope and wish to become please smash a like and hit that subscribe button for more guides like this because of course i'll be revising a lot of my guides from last year to turn you guys into absolute fucking badasses but into the online game we go, and let's kick somebody's ass. So to kick things off, you've got round one up against this Highlander, and it starts off a little bit rockety. So I'm trying to get in that guaranteed damage with the kick, but he just decides, nah fam, fuck you, and he runs away. Comes at me, and I kind of screw up there, and he gets me with Highlander's annoying as hell thing. But it's about that readjustment. Go in, get that guaranteed and also make sure that you're kicking in but you never you always follow that kick up with a with a heavy unless they're getting into the habit of parrying that shit don't do it so i go in i fake the kick go in with that and he knocks me out of that so what do i do i try it again but this time i go for a light parry because i'm near a wall i'm able to get that saucy saucy damage off and actually end the round so that is absolutely amazing so do keep that in note ladies and gents kick follow up with heavy and if they're noticing that they you, you know you're going in with a double feint and knock you out the light of it. Do it again and then light parry that sucker. So, coming in hard with round two. So, of course, the thing is here, I'm trying to keep it in, keep the pressure up. So, he's being an annoying little son of a bitch. Yep, gets the trade and he decides, nah. So, I'm going to back off, readjust and show him some respects. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to sit here and just press the heavy button, cancel it a few times. He misses and I go in for the kill. Managed to get that stam drain and go in with a pounce. So the best thing I could do here is very simple. Kick, light, heavy, faint. 
gets rid of the G-Beast. What they'll do? Heavy, delay heavy. A lot of people don't seem to remember that the Centurion has a delayed heavy, so utilize that idea and smack them with that delayed heavy in either of the other directions, ladies and gents. It works and you're seeing it right here, right now on the video, so please do follow up with that delayed heavy. Round three. Oh, so good. So, so good. So again, I'm finishing up, and I'm going to try and enter the fight here with something a little bit different. Weight, parry, and easy peasy. Because he always came from that direction. I was able to get that parry through prediction and raiding his pattern. So I saw he was low on stamina, so I finished him off with a kick. So what I'm trying to do now is bait him in with that dodge. He's not seeming to respond, and when he does, it's a little bit too late. So you got to keep in mind, ladies and gents, you'll want to try and bait him in for that max punish that was shown before ASAP. Should have gone for a parry there, Red. What are you doing? What are you doing, son? So I tried it again, and it didn't work for me this time. So he learnt his lesson. Oh, comes in, and he manages to get me because I dodged far, far too early. But he realised he's low on stamina, and if he goes out of stamina, that's it. Game over. But that nah, coming in with them kicks. So as you saw then, he dodged that punch. That punch is very easy to react to, so do keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. So again, keeping it in, keeping it in, and what do I do? I get screwed. Very simply said, he comes in with a kick to grab and, you know, it's dangerous times now. Dangerous. Dangerous times indeed. So he gets me again and it's a bit annoying, not going to lie. But then again, boom, patience is the number one thing here, ladies and gents. Keep in mind. So what I'm trying to do now is finish it really quickly, but he's not giving me the opportunity to finish it. He's being an annoying little bugger. So I'm trying the delayed heavy into GB, not working, but he comes in and I manage to finish that off. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my revised Centurion guide for the content that follows 2019. The very first official guide here for 2019 on the Red Dawn channel. So, if you have enjoyed today's guide and you do indeed find it helpful in any way, shape or form, it's free. So, why not click that like button, click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys can keep up to date with the potential guides that will be following on this channel. Not just related to For Honor. We have other plans in mind in terms of other games that you might find interesting. I've started playing Mortal Kombat, so who knows? Maybe, just maybe, start releasing content for that game. But ladies and gentlemen, it has indeed been the Red Dawn back with you with another shitty guide video. And I will see you guys, as always, in the next video. P.S. Subscribe or die. In a bit. Indeed.